German chocolate sour cherry cake. I've added in some, just four ounces of sweet chocolate and four tablespoons of butter. And then I'm gonna add in a quarter cup of milk. And I'm just gonna melt this together. I'm using a double boiler, um, which is really helpful because you don't wanna scorch the milk and you don't want the chocolate to seize up. It, it'll separate and it, that's not what you want. So you wanna melt the chocolate first because we wanna give this a chance to cool before we put it into the cake batter. Got the heat turned off. I'm just gonna get to work on the rest of the cake. So I'm gonna use the rest of this butter, a stick and a half of butter, and I'm gonna add it to my mixing bowl. This is softened butter. And I'm also gonna add in two cups of sugar. I'm just gonna cream those together. There we go. I'm gonna add cake flour because it's gonna give us a nice compact cake. This is gonna be a tall cake and it won't fall apart when we slice it. Two and a quarter cups of cake flour. If you don't have cake flour, you can sift regular all-purpose flour. I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of salt and sift that together. So I've got my five yolks here and you try to kind of go in one at a time just to let them kind of evenly incorporate. My mother always said if you run a little water in the bowl before you break the eggs in, they'll slide out easier. So if you, if you have trouble with the eggs falling out all at once, or sticking, try some water. Get that last little guy out. There you go. And I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of vanilla. Then I need to add my chocolate in. The star of the, of the recipe. I'm just gonna pour this in and then start the mixer back up so I don't splatter it everywhere. All right, once you feel like the chocolate is incorporated, then we're gonna start alternating this flour mixture with three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. Beginning and ending with flour, that's what my mom always said to do. And this is just to make sure that you're kind of evenly distributing everything throughout the batter. So you're eyeballing about a third of this flour, spoonful by spoonful so that it doesn't fly everywhere. And you'll learn the hard way how much you can put in here without it flying out. And then I'm gonna add in about half of this buttermilk. Buttermilk is also really nice in this cake because it's a tenderizer, so it's gonna make this cake even more tender. Another third of this flour. We're gonna add the rest of the buttermilk in now. Now that that's incorporated, keep it light and fluffy. So I've got the five egg whites. I'm just gonna pour them into the mixing bowl. And when you're making meringue, you use a wire whisk because you're whipping lots of air into the egg whites, so that's the attachment we're gonna use. I'm really just making meringue right now. We're going to just spin this till we get really nice stiff peaks and it looks like meringue that you would put on a pie. That's what you want, that's perfect. Fold in the egg whites. What does that mean, fold in? Basically, we're folding the egg white mixture into the batter and the rule of thumb is to fold until you don't see the white part anymore. So I'm just gonna evenly distribute the batter between three round cake pans. And because this is a tender cake, you definitely wanna make sure it doesn't stick in the pan. So I have sprayed the pans, floured the pans, and lined them with parchment. Now I'm just gonna spread the batter around the edges of the pans. All right, these are gonna go into the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. I've got three layers here that I cooked and cool completely, and we're gonna put them flat side down just because they'll be prettier and they'll. We just have some sour cherry topping. Okay. Put about half of that, which is about half a cup, on the top, and you're gonna spread it on for me. Okay. I'm confused as to why you're having me help you decorate a cake. <laughs> because you need to learn how to do this because it's gonna I be do, great. I do, I do. You can do it, you can totally do it. Now take your little offset spatula, that's what that is, and that will help you just kind of spread it over the top, like frosting. This has a name. Look what you're doing. And it's called offset. That's beautiful. All right, second layer going on. And you just put the rest of that on the top. I'm gonna glob it. Glob it. Glob it. How are you feeling about this? Mm. I know you're a dessert guy. <laughs> Sour <laughs> cherries. I think I that's, a, that's a good, a good call good with chocolate. combo. We're gonna pour some warm store-bought chocolate sauce over the top. And then into my mouth. Yeah, and I'll, I'll let it, Ooh. I'm gonna, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> See how that works. I'm gonna, I may need more, but I'm gonna start with that. And I'm gonna just use my little offset spatula. 
if it spread, if it goes over the edge a little bit and drips down, then we're gonna be really happy about that. That's what we want. Just sprinkle your coconut okay. over the top, just some of it, and just kind of over the whole top, so we get a little bit. Oh, doesn't that look pretty? It's that so looks pretty. I think that looks beautiful. Oh, look how pretty it's stripping oh. off the side. Now we just slice it and taste it. Okay. Mm. Now that seems like a lot of pressure. I don't <laughs> want to do that. Going in. This is quite the cake. So <laughs> excited. <laughs> it's a good thing we didn't fill up on brats and sauerkraut. <laughs> yeah, good thing. Oh my Ooh. goodness. That is a slice of cake. I went a little crazy on the slice. Okay. This is sort of, I would call this a Garth slice. That is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Doesn't that look good? Yes. Mmm. And it's still warm. Mm -hmm. That's a good combo. And then it's, it's sour cherry makes it not too sweet. Mm 